And they knew when they were leaving, it was so sad. I, I could see the sadness on their faces because they, they knew, they didn't know when they were coming back. And it's something they need. And um, they felt like, they felt like something was stolen from them, I think. And, um, you know, the next day I was, I, I was in Home Goods and I was at the checkout counter and there was this elderly black woman behind the counter and she says, um, I said, I never saw it so empty in here. And she said, yeah, they're all afraid. They must have lost their faith in God. And so I said, God bless you, child. You're practicing faith over fear. <laughs> and uh, that's what it is. And um, because it's better, it's better to die with your spirit full of life than to live with your spirit dead. And didn't Jesus do that? Absolutely. I mean, the cru Good Friday is coming up. The crucifix is the most important symbol in Christianity. And the crucifixion is about Jesus' death and not afraid to die and his spirit fully intact. And, um, and Jesus wasn't afraid to walk with the lepers too and to touch the lepers and to heal the lepers, give them the healing they needed, the, the close personal contact. And unfortunately, the whole world seemed to seems to have turned into one giant leper colony. That's exactly what it feels like. And, exactly what it feels um, like. You know, so we need to practice faith over fear. And, you know, so that's the way, like Tracy Lynn said, that's the way we get through this, because fear is the worst virus there is. And if you have the faith, you can, you can conquer that. And since we can't all meet in church, we figured we'd bring church to you and Paul and I are happy to take requests. If you watch these videos and you see you, there's something you want to hear, something that would lift your spirits, let us know and we'll record it. We're here for you every step of the way. And reach out to each other. Reach out to fellow parishioners and see how they're doing, especially people who live alone right now. It's an isolating time. Reach out to each other. We are a parish, we are a family, and a beautiful family. We'll see each other through. Amen, sister. <laughs> Once again. Yeah. Getting a lot of amens. So what's our next song going to be? That's an excellent question. I'm thinking maybe Amazing Grace. We're going to do Amazing Grace. We'll be back in a minute to do Amazing Grace. Stay tuned. <laughs> 